Greetings. This is Aishwarya of Plus 2 HPG wishing you a very happy Constitution Day. As an art student myself, I feel a sense of responsibility to know about the supreme law of our country, the Constitution. And as an Indian, it is very much necessary to learn about some facts about this very important document. Our Constitution is known to be the longest written Constitution in the world with the word count of 1,17,369 words in its original English version. The copy is 22 inches long and 16 inches wide. The first idea to form a constituent assembly to make a constitution was proposed by M. N. Roy in 1934 and gradually the cabinet mission plan of 1946 established this constitution making body. The basic structure of our constitution stands on the Government of India Act 1935. We might have a delusion that our constitution might have been typed or printed but neither of them is true as our constitution was handwritten by the calligraphist Prem Bihari Narayan Raizada in a flowing italic style. Each page was uniquely decorated by artisans from Shantini Ketan. A total expenditure of 6.4 million was spent to write our constitution. An interesting fact, the father of our constitution, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, pretty much wanted to burn our constitution due to injustice for minority groups. He quoted, it is by placating the sentiments of smaller communities and smaller people who are afraid that the majority may do wrong, that the British Parliament works. Sir, my friends tell me that I have made the constitution, but I am quite prepared to say that I shall be the first person to burn it out. I do not want it. It does not suit anybody. But whatever that may be, if our people want to carry on, they must not forget that there are minorities and there are majorities, and they simply cannot ignore the minorities by saying, Oh no, to recognize you is to harm democracy. I should say that the greatest harm will come by injuring minorities. He said in Rajya Sabha on 22nd September. We all know the first person to sign our constitution was the first president of India, Dr. Rajendra Vasad. But the last person to sign this document was Feroze Gandhi, which is quite to be noted. It was only after the enforcement of the Indian constitution that our country's women got right to vote. Many features and provisions in our Indian constitution were borrowed from many country constitutions like Britain, USA, USSR, Canada, Ireland, France, Germany, South Africa, Japan and many more. Jan 24, 1950, the Constituent Assembly's final session convened and both original copies written in Hindi and English were signed by the 283 members on that day. On 26th November 1949, the entire document was completed, but the makers waited to enforce it on 26th January 1950 due to its historical significance. So, this was my attempt to learn and share a few things about our constitution. Thank you for giving me this opportunity and have a nice day.